So you've seen the hero web part at the top. Uh, I've got that all filled out. Uh, we're running a new family travel program. We're in the pilot phase of that. Uh, and we're looking at ex extending to, in 2018 to some additional des destinations. We've got our guidelines here. We've got some current promotions. And we're, since we're new, we're introducing the family program overall. When Mark showed the site uh, just uh, provisioned, we hadn't built out the navigation, so simply and easily I'm able to link to our launch plans, we do monthly program updates, I'm gonna build one for September in this demo, uh, and then we have executive reviews that we do as well. If I scroll down the page, one of the things you'll see is as it scrolls, it's got that nice animation. Uh, I think uh, Jeff showed that off briefly yesterday. Uh, that's a parallax animation that's built in. We wanna have great polish and attention to detail to these pages. Uh, that typically is a, a, a lot of effort to code that. Uh, we built that and it's associated with parts, so you get it out of the box. We're using news to broadcast out information about our program. Uh, I've got the program news here uh, for our site. It also rolls up to SharePoint Home and into the SharePoint mobile apps. This is the social portion of our page. We've built uh, Yammer conversations and we have a, a Yammer a group that we use to talk with our uh, company and our team. And we were using the new Yammer web part that we announced this morning uh, on this page. As well, we're able to embed tweets about family travel. We wanna monitor what's going on on Twitter about family travel. So we're embedding that right here. And that's very easy for our program readers and our owners to see what's going on uh, and, and engage appropriately. We use events uh, to keep the team tr uh, up to date and to roll out new capabilities and uh, trainings and a number of things. That, so we've got our events web part here. And then we're really excited. We're gonna be launching a new destination to Hawaii. So we decided to put a full bleed image on the page and you can see uh, that goes end to end and it also has that really nice parallax view, a parallax scroll that gives you a, a real great sense of motion and animation in it. Here's a small piece uh, right here. If you see that line across, uh, there's a couple of small web parts that really add kind of polish. This is called a divider web part. So what I've built in is this ability to separate out from that beautiful image uh, some resources. So I've got our people web part, uh, the ask the experts uh, is how we coin that. And then I've also got some more program resources. We also have a, a, a web part called a, uh, a separator, uh, excuse me, a, a separator uh, that adds uh, uh, distance between so you can adjust uh, how you want to separate parts on the page. As you saw, the uh, ability to hover over a people card has been implemented, and we've expanded that. So now I can get a full organizational view. I can look at Mark and see contact details. I can see more information about him uh, right here on the page. And this is an experience that we'll be implementing consistently across Office 365. If I go back up, I'm going to show you a second page. We've got our potential destinations and here there's a couple, couple of new things that I want to highlight that uh, we haven't yet talked about. Again, there's that animation in the title region. I've got some text up at the top of my page, and you'll notice a couple things about this. First of all, uh, I've got highlighted uh, text coloring, so I've got that great feedback highlighted in green. Uh, I've got text coloring itself, so I've been able to call out that CJ, Jeff, Dan, and Melissa are our program leaders. Uh, I've got indenting here. If you see the survey, I've been able to indent that to add some emphasis. And then I could use a different font ramp. So I, I'll show you this later uh, when we do a page authoring demo, but I have a lot more capabilities to control font sizing in my text parts of my page. And these are all innovations and capabilities that we're working on delivering uh, by the end of this year. Here's another view of a new people web part layout that we're delivering. So here you see I've been able to add a custom description to each of these folks. So if you look at CJ's card, uh, I've been able to say how CJ's work relates to my particular program. So she's leading our uh, research and lining up markets uh, and our suppliers in, for our market expansion. I also have the ability to add a link to uh, either a travel blog in CJ's case, or for Jeff, I can see recent travels. Uh, Dan Holm apparently is a black belt in karate, so we can see uh, his, some of his videos. Speaking of videos, uh, we've got the stream web part on here as well, so we can show our readers videos of potential destinations. Uh, we're in the process of determining where to expand in 2018, so we want to give them kind of a glimpse using video so that they can see the possibilities. And speaking of expansion, we ended up using Microsoft Forms to do a poll, and we're showing the poll results here on the page of where people are voting for us to expand in 2018. 
Our in travel innovation team, Alyssa and Sohail, have been doing some great work uh, as they scout out and look around the world. So they've been writing some various reports that I wanted to highlight. So I'm using our uh, link web part here. So I'm just embedding links to their pages. And they look great. They uh, bring in the image. Uh, they've got a bunch of great uh, content that kind of summarizes uh, the page. We announced today that we're adding uh, over 270 file formats supported in our uh, file web part and across uh, OneDrive and SharePoint. And here's just an example of a 3D file where I can zoom in the steampunk ship. We're mm -hmm. thinking about going to the steampunk festival in 2018. Uh, but just a lot of fun playing. But the, I think the most important part of that is the uh, expanded file, for file formats is uh, really tremendous. And then here's our highlighted content web part. Uh, this is a really powerful web part that I know many of you use today. Um, one of the things I've done here is I've configured it so that it shows content for the current user. That's a new capability that we're delivering. Uh, so that because I'm logged in as the current user, it is able to surface up pages that I've worked on uh, based upon configuration and highlighted content. And then at the bottom here, you'll see that we have what we call our social bar in this bottom corner. So you can see that we also are delivering the ability to like pages, uh, to comment on pages, and I also get view counts. So as an author, that's really helpful for me to know, how's my content doing? Am I getting views? Am I getting engagement? Can I start conversations with people with comments? And that gives me that bar and that information right at the details. If I scroll down further, I actually see the actual contents. So I see uh, Naomi's impressed got some uh, ability to reply to her. Another new capability we've got is I can select images if I want, but what I want to do now is dynamically pull in images from a document library. We're uh, looking to expand to Rome, so I've got some photos from Rome. And as you see, as I do that, those photos instantly come into the page and lay out for me. Grabbed all of those and laid out beautifully. I like that layout but I wanna just play around with it. So I've got a one, one by one square. I could change that to a 16 by nine or four by three standard. So right there, interactively, I'm able to look at that content, bring it in in a matter of moments and then play with it. What I actually wanna do though is change to the carousel layout. Uh, we've added the ability to automatically cycle through images. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on in the carousel and bring that down to three seconds. And you'll see after I publish this page, the carousel will rotate automatically. So I'm gonna turn this to you because this is kind of the fun one for engineers when it's the first time. Sure, so um, this morning, Jeff announced uh, SharePoint Hub Sites. Um, this is a thing the team's been working on in addition to other work that we're gonna show you. Um, this is the ability to, this gives us you the, you the ability to associate team sites and communication sites together and pro, 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 uh, excuse me, um, <laughs> show a hub site that basically joins associated sites together with common navigation and common theming. Um, we are working on a news and site activity roll-up capability. So news will roll up from associated sites. You can actually, in the future, even point uh, the news to roll up from additional sites. And the site activity also rolls up. So that home page of the, of the hub site gives you content from the associated sites in one roll-up view. A search, as was discussed this morning, has scoped across all of the related sites. So some of the search innovations that Naomi showed this morning will work in hub sites across all of the related sites uh, in addition to the hub. Um, and then you've got cross-site navigation and cross-site theming that work. So you can have purposeful themes that you deliver and have those work across all of the associated sites. And there's a navigation level that you can have both at the associated sites and above at the hub sites. Um, admins initially will create these and then users can add their sites to those, those hub sites and we're going to show you how that works uh, today in our demo. So it's that same site and really whether Andy, who is also a site owner on this particular site, or we both work on the same travel program, um, we, could, we could do this. We are aware that there is a hub site available for us to join and we want to join it so that we can easily get to other sites that are related to it and get the benefits that we talked about, which we'll show you here. So as a site owner, I can go into the gear and now in site information, this is where the team has started to really build how can you manage what the title is of your site, how you describe it, if you wanted to change these after the fact of creation. But now you'll see a new drop down here where it says hub site and you see all the available hub sites for me to be able to join to. And because this is a travel program, we're gonna join to the travel programs hub. So I'm gonna click save. Not only is this gonna join, you're gonna see a couple of things change on the back end that we'll highlight here. One of the first things you see that pops in is the new top navigation. And it's pretty small on here, so I'm gonna zoom in just so you can see the top nav. Woo! Woo! 
So this will be consistent navigation as we go now across multiple sites. We're just now one site of many that are associated with this. And you can see some of the things that Andy was working on. Here's that September update. But at the parent level is really for me to get to other travel programs like adventure travel. Or sorry, what are we on? C cultural travel, eco travel, and, and other. And certainly you have the ability to control what you put into these navigational items. It doesn't mean that every single site that you add will join to that parent level. But you certainly can. You have control to be able to edit it just like you would down here at the site level. The other things that happen is the theme change. So we went from one color to another, and now we're on green, so that we're consistent not only in logo and navigation, but the color schema of every associated uh, site that's underneath this hub. Now if I go back to the hub uh, level, the, hu the hub home site, you're going to see all of that activity that's happening in all these associated sites roll up. And with all the news that gets created, you can see that this is news coming from the cultural site. This is news coming from eco travel. And you can even create news at the hub level, which will then be available to a very broad audience of anybody that's related to these sites, but whether it's a team site or a, um, a communication site. And certainly within the hub, you have a hub homepage. And it abides by all the same rules of what Andy showed you. If you wanted to configure this with a Twitter web part or a Yammer feed or something like the image gallery, just to highlight, here are the best pictures we've gotten most recently from all these destinations that we're really excited to create programs around. So there is a hub home, but certainly the value is how you bring everything together. So that's hub sites. The other thing that we wanted to show while uh, we're on my machine here is that same site now going back to the um, Contoso Family Travel Program. One thing that should change if I hit refresh, and this is a little bit of a wild card, is I was already loaded up on that site, cont uh, site usage page, but now that we've joined the site to the hub, now, even as I'm at the level of not just the site, but a sub-level of that, which is this site contents or the site uh, usage page, you still see that even when I get to the site usage page, I have the navigation of the hub already still available to me. But certainly, the important part of all these different sites is how are they doing? Uh, you know, how many unique users, unique viewers, are we getting? Over a period of time, how many uh, site visits are we getting? And we can drill in and hover over either a seven-day view, a 30-day view. Obviously, with some of our demo content data, it gets a little thin. But in the real world, you get a real rich set of data, all of which, is, of course, is visual here on the site, but would be the same as if you had run an API call across multiple sites and generated a report. This is that same uh, material available to the analytics API. You also get a view on trending content, and if anything had been shared externally, which we haven't yet on this site, you would see that listed here, and you could take it as an action of, I see that's been shared, and I want to make sure that it's no longer shared. So you could certainly unshare it, and, and you get a lot of control as well from this page. So that's a look quickly if we started to use this site more and more, and certainly as joining it to the hub might increase the visitors and the views and the reach of our content, you of course would see that reflected here as a site owner, is how is my site doing?